Hey, what's up, my dokus? Jason here, welcome you back to more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I just about said Mario again. I swear, it's it's just gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, last time. Uh, excuse me. We. What, we went to the Ocean Speedway in uh, Summer Forest, managed to get everything there, as well as challenged Crush to a battle, at where which we dominated. We were going to fight uh, Gulp, however, the game knows there's a rule. One boss fight per area. <laughs> anyway, uh, we also came here to Autumn Plains, where we obtained everything here within all Autumn Plains, like all the gems and all the orbs, and we learned a new ability thanks to this freaking money hog over here, to where we can climb. And so, this time, instead of breaking into the, uh, instead of breaking into the, um, worlds here in Autumn Plains, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to Summer Forest, and we're going to complete the areas that we had not finished. As we can now be able to do that with the climbing ability and the swim ability. We could have technically gone back to, I think, Idle Springs because that one I think only needs the swimming ability, but I just wanted to go ahead and grab the climbing ability before we did that, because there's just a lot of things that need the climbing, so I'd rather just spend the time to go back to multiple worlds rather than just one world. Alrighty, so as we see here, this is kind of a shortcut to the uh, next area. These are kind of shortcuts that'll open up as you unlock the hub worlds. So, first things first, we're going to be heading back this way because the first place that we need to take care of something in is Glimmer. Alright, so the only thing that kind of sucks about returning to worlds is that we do have to re-defeat enemies in order to use the invincibility gates. S or not the invincibility gates, but the power-up gates. So, and we need the power-up gate in order to, uh, in order to access the new stuff that we, uh, will have un unlocked. But it's okay, not a big deal. We should easily be able to get these numbers back up. Just like right here. That's already eight. That's already eight there. Um, we already have the bridge. That's nine, and that's ten. Okay, so the, uh, the gate that has the ability should be unlocked now. Alrighty. Go ahead and grab these gems. Hey, great! You've got the Superfly power up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. Alrighty. So our task is going to be lighting the gem lamps. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I guess uh, this is also why I wasn't too worried about, um, you know spending all our gems with money bags in autumn plains because we would be coming back to these previous worlds and just getting some of those gems back all right i believe this is the last one yep there we go thanks for helping me light the lamp spyro for a while i was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game here somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs why would you play baseball in the dark? I mean, I guess that's why you need to light the torches, but like, seriously, it's a dark cave. Like, how are you gonna play baseball? That just doesn't, that <laughs> doesn't make sense. I don't know how you're gonna play baseball in a dark cave, but I mean, you know, 2 each his own. I'm sure they have, you know, reasons for why they are doing it. Anyway, that is 100% level complete. Ouch. So, 
with that, we're going to go ahead and head back to um, our, our summer forest and head into Idle Springs. Thanks for helping us, but... And they're going to try to re-give us this talisman. Okay, so to unlock the new stuff here in Idle Springs, what I basically did was went ahead and recompleted the level, basically unlocking all the doors, because we're going to be doing something that involves going back through all of these areas, so I just felt it would be easier to knock that out right away. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and grab all these gems that are down here, as we do have plenty of them to collect. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, grab that one and that one. Excuse you, Spyro, come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. There we go. And then we'll come up this way. And look at that, plenty of more gems. Alright, and that's all 400. Which means now we just have this orb. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Alright, so we have to turn all these blocks yellow, which can be kind of tricky, I'm not going to lie. So here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. See what we can. Yeah, this one can be a little tricky. It's basically I'm like kind of. A memorization type puzzle. It's really weird. Oh, look at that. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Alright, so the next challenge is going to be in the pond. So, what he means by that is not like a specific place. He's just wanting, uh, he's just meaning like right here. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Alright, so the only fish that this idol wants to eat are the blue and yellow fish. We do not want to feed him the red fish. The red fish will count against us. But he needs ten fish, so we'll just we just have to keep an eye out for the red and are not the red, the blue and yellow fish, and once we feed him 10 of them, we will complete the challenge. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what the final... S or what the colored stones are for the final challenge. Well, it's something we ran across on our first visit here. So, if we go all the way over here... I don't know why that guy's beating himself over the head with a hammer. But, the final challenge is right here. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Alrighty then. Okay, so it's that one. I think this one... Nope. Okay. Nope, it's not that one. How about this one? Nope. Let's... How about you? Nope. Let's start over. Uh, you? Okay, how about you? Nope. So yeah, this one's basically kind of trial and error, at least to me. I don't really know if there is an exact place that you can... Uh, you know, look to, or like look at to find the correct pattern, but I just kind of use trial and error. So here we go, there's that, and then there, there, and 
there we go. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Well, it doesn't matter because that is something we need. So I'm glad you can give it to me. Alrighty, anyway. Guess with that, that is officially one. Yep, 100% level complete. So, that only leaves Summer Forest itself and Sunny Beach. So I think we'll take care of Sunny Beach first. Okay, so, first things that we are needing to do here in Sunny Beach is one, we need to come up here because uh, there are some gems here that we can get from climbing up this ladder, as well as just floating over here, at least I thought floating over here, but I guess, you know, not because it didn't want to he didn't want to float properly. Alright. And now, go ahead and bring this tortoise over here, and we need to head back to the ending bit of this area. Because if we do, now that we have the climbing ability... Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Yep, now that we have the climbing ability, we can come up here and challenge this chef. Your turtle friends will make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. Alright, so our objective here is to keep the turtles out of out of the cage. So or out of the um out of the cauldron. So what are what we're gonna try to do is we need to we basically need to drag them into the uh, into the water and the best way to do this is to one guide them to the water and to whack them oh wait okay that was bad oh okay he just restarted it so we can either burn burn them with uh, you know, burn them with fire to get them over there, or we can, you know, uh, we can uh, do a um, charge at them. I think charging is much better, though. So you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Any closer to Alright, so there is now a second orb that we can get, which just involves putting our us trying to keep more turtles out of the cauldron. Not too difficult once you get it down. It's really just a matter of getting them into the water. And away from the uh away from the um the cauldron. It's not anything like too difficult. All right, there we go. All right, bam, bam. Okay, that's not good. There we go. All right, next turtle's coming from there. And there's that one. There's that one. I think there's only like a few more. There we go. Um, okay, whatever. There we go. Yep, there we go. Rats, you saved every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Alrighty, that takes care of all the orbs here in Sunny Beach. And looks like we have some uh, or or the, some gems here at the bottom. Though it does look like we're still missing a few gems. Yep, we're missing uh, five gems, which could be a range from a five gem or a 
you know, two, two, and a one, or even just five, one. So I'm gonna have to go searching for a sec. Seriously, it was literally just off the, to the side here of uh, the the uh, special gate. That is redonkulous. Anyway, with getting that, that is 100% level complete. So, what I want to do now is I don't actually want to head uh, back to Summer Forest in, through the uh, through just warping. What I really want to do is I want to head out, exit out of Summer Forest the intentional way. And the reason for this will, will be made clear once we actually um, once we actually exit Summer Forest or exit Sunny Beach. Alright, so let's go ahead and return back. Alrighty, so now that we are back here in Summer Forest, this area over here where Alora said that we couldn't uh, reach until after we obtained the ability to climb a ladder, well. There's something shiny at the top of this wall. Maybe you could climb up and get it? Now we can climb up and get it. Which happens to be a bunch of gems, as well as the last orb we're missing here. So that's 24, so that makes all orbs obtained. And... What? Seriously? We're in this predicament again where we're missing another five gems? <sighs> That's a five, isn't it? What is with these random five gems that I've just been missing lately? I don't usually do that on a normal playthrough. I don't know what is with this Let's Play and just having some five gem that I randomly miss in a location. But with that, if we check our guidebook, that is everything in Summer Forest fully complete. Summer Forest itself, as well as its uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six worlds, Speedway, and Crush's Dungeon. So, with that, let's go ahead and head back to Autumn Plains. Because next time on Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, we're going to uh, crack down on the worlds of Autumn Plains. Starting specifically... With Crystal Glacier. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, share your upset a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I will see you guys all later.